clowns are scaring people? What the heck is going on? Hello everybody, it's Joe Ditzel back on my bicycle. Hey, we're back for another vlog. What the heck is going on with these scary clowns? They're everywhere. Hey, before we get started on that, how are you doing? I hope everything is good in your world. Folks, there's an increasing number of reports of scary clowns emerging or being sighted in suspicious places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clowns, scary clowns, are being sighted all over the country. Michigan, Georgia, and the latest in Pennsylvania. Oh, sure, you can fit 17 of them in a mini Volkswagen, but when you get up close, they're kind of scary. I mean, what makes the difference between a scary clown and a funny clown anyway? You might say, well, it's the makeup. It's scarier. But I've seen some pretty scary makeup on people that weren't clowns, and they weren't trying to be funny or scary. And why is the dichotomy between laughter and fear? Why can't they have the indecisive clown? Why don't they have socially reclusive clowns? Are there shy clowns? Are there socially awkward clowns? I mean, you think being a clown is easy. It's not. They have clown colleges. They have clown camps. Yeah. You have to invest money to get the training to become a professional clown. In fact, one clown camp manager said that it's irresponsible for clowns to try to be scary, that it's outside their mission and should be banned. I don't think this guy is thinking of it the right way. If scary clowns are showing up all around the country, there's a demand. There's a demand for training to learn to be a scary clown. This guy runs a clown camp, a clown college. I see opportunity. I could see a couple of clowns hanging around the student center in between classes. Hey man, what's your major? Oh, I'm a happy clown. Ah, oh, not me, dude. No way, dude. You got to get into this scary clown business. That's where the action is right now. And if they have clown colleges, are there clown high schools? Do you have to become a clown apprentice? Is there clown grad school? I mean, can you be like half the people I know in college who graduated but didn't know what the heck they wanted to do and didn't want to enter the real world? What did they do? They went to grad school. At least you can tell your mom and dad you're a clown teaching assistant. A decent percentage of the reports of scary clowns around the country or that's right, hoaxes. One of the most elaborate was concocted by a group of five-year-old kids. Yeah, I can see how that interrogation went. They separate the kids. Okay, Tommy, where did you see this scary clown? I saw him at the end of my block. Cut over to Johnny. Johnny, where did you see this scary clown? We saw him when we were walking through the mall. Third kid, Timmy, where did you see this scary clown? I saw my mom and him in a car making out before my dad got home. Uh, Timmy, we better not mention that one. You know, maybe these scary clowns are just an extension of the upcoming Halloween. I mean, maybe these are just people that love Halloween. We all have that one friend that loves Halloween. They get excited about it weeks ahead of time. They plan out their outfits. They'll have two or three outfits ready to go. Maybe they'll wear them all the same night to different parties. So folks, I think there's overreaction to the scary clown phenomena. I think we've pigeonholed clowns by insisting that they be funny and happy. Yes, we've heard of sad clowns, but they're ostracized and held up to ridicule in society. But I say those are the old days. As a society, we've got to grow and we should allow all clowns to have equal opportunity to make complete fools of themselves. Hey, maybe you don't like scary clowns. I say I want to live in a world where all clowns are accepted. Folks, folks, that's all I have for now. 
Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.